Hey, I have here another integral from MIT integration B2011, problem 24. Okay, so we have this rational integral from zero to one on the board and no special tricks really came to mind here. So I just did the straightforward thing. Let me know in the comments if you found a better way. I think my way may be a little long, but it did work. So let's try it. To start with these polynomials, should, each of these polynomials in the numerator and denominator should be really familiar. You'll notice in both cases, the coefficients match Pascal's triangle. So like the coefficients are exactly, this expression in the denominator is exactly x plus one to the fourth. Noticing that pattern of the coefficients there. Then very similar to what we have in the denominator, x plus one cubed would give us this, but with all plus signs. This expression here is actually just x minus one cubed. And then from here, like I said, do the straightforward thing. What I did was I made a substitution here so that we can divide these and clean this up a little bit. So what I did was I made my u substitution x plus 1. Getting an expression for x, we're going to have x equals u minus 1. And then dx equals, yeah, dx does equal dx, but dx also equals du. So then we'll make this substitution here. We'll plug a 1 in here. So we're going to have a 2. And then we'll plug a plug a zero in here and we're going to one. Then in the numerator plugging a u minus one and we're gonna have u minus two cubed and then x plus one, so that's just, x plus one is just our u, so we're gonna have u to the fourth and the denominator. Then what I'll do is I'm just gonna take this u minus two cubed and I'm just gonna expand it all the way out. Then from here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my u to the fourth in here to get this into something to set up the power rule. So what we're gonna have is our integral, the first term is going to be u to the minus 1, minus 6, u to the minus 2, plus 12, u to the minus 3, minus 8, u to the minus 4, du. Okay, so next we're just going to integrate this thing. So first, for this is 1 over u, so we're going to have natural log of u. But I'm going to drop the absolute value because we notice our bounds are positive. Then here we're going to have minus 6, u minus 1. Bring down a minus one just using power rule we'll just do that here as well and more power rule minus three over minus three and we have to put in our bounds then before we continue i'm just going to clean up my coefficients here just to make this easier so we're going to have plus six there okay so now we just need to evaluate this thing so we're going to have starting here we're going to have natural log of two plugging a two in and here we're going to have a six over two minus six over two squared is four plus eight thirds. One over two cubed is gonna be an eight there. That's gonna cancel, but we'll come back to that. Then plugging a one in, natural log of one is zero. Plugging a one in here, we're gonna have six over one, it's just six. Here we're gonna have a minus six over one squared, but that's just six. And then we're gonna have eight thirds. Okay, here this piece is gonna cancel. Then to finish this off, we're gonna to need to get, on all these terms, I'm just gonna get a common denominator. We have our natural log of two. For a common denominator, we'll use six. So we'll do 18 over six. Then here we're gonna have minus nine over six, plus two over six, minus here we're gonna have 16 over six. When we add all this stuff together, we're just gonna have minus five over six. So for our final solution, we're gonna have natural log of two minus five over six. That's it. I think I will admit that this was actually kind of tedious calculating all this stuff at the end. So again, if you have a better way, let me know. I came up with the tedious way today. So sorry about that. Thanks everyone. Have a good day.